Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to look at users on a Linux system, and this applies to Unix as well, and also how to look at the Etsy password and Etsy group files to see how group membership works. These are really important concepts because when you're working with files, there's always file permissions associated with those, and you need to understand how users and groups work. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is I'm logged in already as root, and um, uh, any regular user can actually see the Etsy password and Etsy group files. You don't have to have special permission, but if you want to create users, you do have to have root permission. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is just show the contents of the special file called slash Etsy slash password. Anytime a new user is created or deleted, this file is automatically modified, and it looks a little bit cryptic at first, but once we break this into more manageable pieces, this will make a little bit more sense. Okay, so each one of these lines here represents a user account on the system. Now, they might not be logged in currently, but it is a user account. Okay, and so just to show you what happens when I create a new user, I'm going to say add user. You can either say add user or user add, both will work. And then the username. Now I'm going to do a cat on the Etsy password file again. And you can see that we now have an entry down here. Okay, so when you look at each one of these entries, you'll see that uh, we have information separated by colons. So the colon is just the delimiter of that information. The first piece of information is the username. The second piece of information is simply an X, um, and that just indicates that there's a password file that has encrypted passwords in a separate location. Now in older uh, versions of Unix and Linux, the encrypted password actually was displayed in here, but for security reasons it's been moved to a separate file. So this third piece of information here is the numeric user ID. So when somebody types in the ID command, it tells them what their user ID is. So I'm logged in as root, and you can see here that my ID is zero. Okay, and you'll see it's right here as well. The fourth piece of information is the user's primary group that they belong to. And so this is where the slash Etsy slash group file comes into play. We're gonna open that up in just a moment. The fifth piece of information is a description of the user, and so for this particular entry here, it's empty. But if I wanted to modify it, I could. In fact, if I want to edit the Etsy password file, I can do it through here, or there's also commands that allow me to edit the um, entries. You know, instead of accessing this directly, I could use um, commands. So um, what I'm going to do in here is actually put in my name. Okay, so now let me, you'll see here, we have here my name, and then the next entry is the user's home directory. So when the user logs in, this is where they're automatically going to be taken. And then the last entry is the user's default shell that they're taken into. So um, here it's bash, but if I wanted to set it to something else like the corn shell or the born shell, I could. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now change the password for user Julie because I, I never actually set the password. So I'll say password Julie, and now I'm going to give a new password. As you're typing this in, the cursor doesn't move, and that's by design. Okay, so if it comes back saying it's based on a dictionary word, um, I recommend changing it to a non-dictionary word, but since I'm just in a play-around environment here, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be uh, deleting this server shortly anyway. Okay, so I now change the password. 
Let me go ahead and log out. And now I'm going to log back in. And I'll go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to log in as Julie and provide my password. And just to see where I am here, I'm going to do PWD, and you can see I'm in the Home Julie directory. Okay, so now back to the Etsy password file. You'll see here that my primary group is 500. Users can belong to multiple groups, but they're always going to have one primary group that they belong to. So I'm going to go to a special file that represents the groups on the system. It's called Etsy Group. And you can see here that there is actually a group called Julie. Now maybe I don't want that group to, to exist. If I log in as the root user, I can get rid of that group. I can add other groups as well. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to log in as the root user. And there is a command called group add, and there's also a command that lets us delete groups. Okay, so let me look at the man pages first of all to for group add. Group add takes as its argument a group name, and there's some other options as well. For example, we can force what the group ID number is. And you'll see that under the C also right here that there's a command called group DEL. And so what I'm going to do is look at the man pages for that. Group DEL deletes a group. Okay, so I just provide a group name. So I might decide to go in here and say group DEL I want to get rid of the Julie group. Well, we have a problem. We cannot remove the primary group of user Julie. Well, let me first of all add a group. Group add. I'll just call this reg users, so regular users. Now if I do a cat on my Etsy group file, you can see that it has ID of 501. So what I'm going to do is go back into the Etsy password file and make group 501 the primary group for user Julie. So then I'm able to delete the Julie group. Okay, so group DEL, Julie, and now it's gone. Let's just verify. You'll see that the Julie group is gone. So let me add one more user. I'm going to say user add, and I'll add a Joe in here. And I'm going to change Joe's password. And now if I take a look at Joe's information, Here he is right here. If I want his primary group to also be regular users, I can just modify that right there. Okay. So let me log in as user Julie. And I'm going to create a file called My File. And when I do an ls-l, that's a long listing, this tells me some information here. This first little bit here tells me that this is a regular file. The dash means it's a regular file. Next three entries has to do with permissions for the owner of the file. So Julie's the owner of the file, so Julie can read and write but not execute the file. The next three characters are for the group. Okay, so what group are we talking about? Well, this file belongs to the reg users group. So anybody who belongs to the reg users group can simply read the file. And then the last category is everybody else. So if somebody has an account on the system but they don't belong to the reg users group, all they can do is read the file. 
Okay, well I hope this has been a nice informative video. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.